What we all want or need is that experience of love. And I'm in charge of whether I have it or not, not somebody else. What do you think? Well, I have a great example of this. Um, back in 2006, I think you remember this, I was engaged to a guy I've been with for almost 10 years, and he was killed in Iraq. He was a Marine. And I, needless to say, fell apart completely. It was a complete mess. Um, thankfully, I was working for Becky Bailey at the time. So I was surrounded, you know, now looking at it, I was so, so lucky and blessed to be surrounded by all those wonderful people of loving guidance. But I, I got it in my head after a few months of, of grieving and every day at work crying and just being a complete mess, showing up late because I, you know, wasn't sleeping and all this stuff. I got it in my head that no one liked me at work because I would walk in and I just felt I was beating myself up because I was late and I was a mess and I was and I just was sure that everybody started to really resent that like oh well she can come in at 9 30 what you know and I just in my head that's all I saw turned yourself into a villain yeah yeah mm -hmm. and so I just every day I walk in and I just felt everybody looking at me and thinking I was you know so I had this conversation with you, you know, about, you know, perception and just why don't you walk in there one day and just feel, you know, know that everybody just loves you and every, you know, just completely expect that. And, and I'm not kidding. I remember thinking that Carol had called Becky. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This, the change was so amazing and drastic. I was positive that Carol had put in a call and told people to, to be, be nice to, to be Claire. nicer. Yeah. So I, I, I can remember this clearly. Like the whole day, I'm like, I'm sure she called because everybody's in anyway. But the it's point funny. is that your it everything shifted when my when I you know had different expectations and when and when I went in you know open and not and not beating myself up exactly isn't that funny I remember you told me that like I surreptitiously said I, I was sure <laughs> But it was just, I guess that the point is I didn't believe really that it could be that drastic of a change. Yes. Like it could be night and day. You yes. Know? And you think, if it works that way once, it works that way all the time. It's the way it works. It's the way it works for everybody under all circumstances. And this is where it's nice to remember the good old word discontinuous from the physics folks, which means this moment is complete it's like the train it's like an engine with train cars where you can uncouple see trains are our <laughs> totem animal today so you can uncouple train cars and they'll stay uncoupled until you couple them back well every moment is like a separate train car it's clean it's empty it's new it's going to have in it whatever you decide to have in it and all of those other cars can't be coupled up unless you insist that they are. So right now is the moment of my greatest exploration because now is the moment where I can say yes to everything that's within my view. I can, you know, whether it's a physical thing that's in my view, a feeling that's in my awareness, a circumstance that's in my awareness, and I think it doesn't matter what my response has been to it up until now. I have a chance to have a brand new the only response that works, which is to be open to it, to say, I'm open to everything. I'm open to what's happening. I'm open to me. I'm open to everybody else. As you all say, the valve stays open no matter what. And that's the one-size-fits-all solution to everything. You think, can't be that simple. Well, it actually can be that simple. And it's not that it's not simple, it's that we're afraid of the results. Does that make sense?